In this video, we will continue with integration of trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 5 to 7 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. I'm just making it a bit bigger. Okay, let's start. Find the following integral. So it's x squared plus 6 squared 2 minus 3x dx. Okay, so let's start with this one, x squared. So I add 1 and that 3 I divide with. The same. What is 6 squared? I know that it's 10. But I also know that that value and grab that sign I must divide with. And I just rewrite the bracket plus c. And now I just simplify. So that negative is coming out and the plus c. If I look at this one, okay, now in this one, I take this over, so it's negative 2, okay. And then it's going to be sin. Now, what is sin? Remember, sin is going to become negative, of course. Okay, so that's why the, that negative, can I just show you? This negative is reflecting to this. That is negative, of course. And then 1 over, the, the 3 was already there, so the bracket was basically there. And it's 1 over 8 cos and the bracket plus c. Okay. And then a negative times a negative is positive 3 over 8 cos and then plus c. And that's the final answer. Don't forget your plus c. It's indefinite integration from chapter 7. I just want to stop the video. It's a very short video. I just want you to do number A. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number A. Integrate. And then it's going to be uh, the square root of x plus cos 5x minus 3 dx. Okay. Now, first, take always the root. If you see um, uh, x in the denominator, you take it up. If you see a root, you take it out of the root. So that is, I'm going to rewrite it, but that's my first step. Take it out. I'm still keeping the integral sign because I did not integrate. Okay, now I'm going to integrate. So it's x, and, and remember, and I'm going to make it for the video's sake. It's plus 1, but make it 2 over 2. Then, it's, then I divide by that result, and that's 3 over 2. Okay. And that, this one, is going to be plus, and now don't forget, it's 1 over 5, and don't forget that what has um, cost become? Cost just becomes sin. And I did rewrite the bracket. Sin becomes negative cost. Remember, it's now the reverse of differentiation. Okay, and then don't forget your plus C. So if I simplify this, this is going to be 2 over 3, Oh, let's just get this pen correct. 2 over 3, x 3 over 2, plus 1 over 5, sin 5x minus 3, plus c. And if I move it up, it's going, if I want to simplify it further, I can do it like this. And it's 1 over 5. Sin 5x minus 3 plus c. And that is going to be my final answer.